Our top story. It's been four days since Karnataka BJP MLA Madal Virupakshappa's son was caught red-handed accepting 40 lakh rupees in bribe from a businessman. All on record. It was just the beginning. As the hours passed, a total of 8 crore rupees were reco recovered by the Lokayukta from the son of the MLA and the MLA's office as well. But here's the thing. The BJP MLA, who's the prime accused in this bribery scandal, is still on the run. 96 hours on, he is still absconding. And he's so convinced about his innocence, he's so convinced that he's being framed, that he's actually moved the Karnataka High Court seeking anticipatory bail. Not just that, he has also moved a civil court seeking a gag order on defamatory media reports. Reportedly, he has moved the civil court against not one, but 46 media houses. This is an MLA who has embarrassed the BJP, his party, ahead of the elections. And he's talking about defamation. He's saying that the media in this country is defaming him by showing the pictures that you're seeing on your screens right now. This is the heights of brazenness. Now, the scandal, as you know, has stirred up a massive storm in Karnataka with the Congress Party and the Aam Aadmi Party attacking the Bomai government over corruption. They've been doing it for a while. This is an election year. They've often called this the 40% Sarkar, but now they have enough and more ammunition that is left for the elections. Days after demanding early polls in the state, the Congress has now called for a strike on March 9th. This to urge people in Karnataka to stand against the Bobai government on account of the Congress is saying that the BJP is colluding with the BJP MLA. They very well know where this BJP MLA is. Their police knows where this BJP MLA is and yet they are not arresting him. Congress leader DK Shivakumar is alleging that the embarrassed BJP is exerting pressure now on Lokayukta officials to catch people from the opposition in similar cases and is asking the agencies to keep a strict vigil on other politicians as well. Now, the corruption sting is definitely hurting the BJP, as the Saffron Party thinks that it can thwart its political ambitions ahead of the elections. After all, what is the nara of the BJP? Na khaunga, na khane dunga. And when you have pictures like these that emerge and go viral, it puts that nara in a space where it starts looking like grandstanding. Now, amidst the Congress's allegations, Chief Minister Bomai is saying that the Congress is the main source of all corruption and the Bandh is politically motivated. Listen in to how the Tutu Meme has played out. Congress <laughs> Rajki Bavish in the Bariko was a known Tara Zerinda or Bandkurta, Yapati Krenu Sigodala Yakandre Apad name Modor Mother Sudhas Terbek Apad name Modor Sudhas Terbek Avaga the Belebur today. Let me go straight across to my colleague Deepak Bopana, who is joining us on the broadcast. Deepak, it's very interesting that five people have been arrested in this case, but not the prime accused. The man who was a BJP MLA and continues to be a BJP MLA. Well, it's appalling to say the least, uh, Shreya. Uh, one would just imagine if a common man was caught with six crores. Firstly, for a common man to have six crores would nearly be impossible. And uh, now with the BJ BJP even saying that this is their way of fighting corruption, giving a free hand to the Lokayukta, the question that arises is, does the police really find it so difficult to, you know, really locate an, uh, you know, elected representative who otherwise, of course, is meeting lakhs of people, who's meeting thousands of people in his constituency on a regular basis. He's applying for anticipatory bail. On the other hand, he's trying to get injunctions on, uh, you know, media channels not uh, carrying, uh, you know, news about him. Uh, he even resigns from his position. All of this is happening. We're even told that there were some meetings with some senior politicians in Karnataka also that were held by this individual. Now, while, of course, the BJP uh, leadership in Karnataka is saying that this is uh, the Lokayukta being given a free, uh, 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 you know, hand to investigate matters. And even though it is their own party member, he's been, uh, you know, uh, 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 his son has been booked in this particular case. But the question is, 
if an MLA, a man wielding the kind of power that he does, wielding the kind of money that he does, it's been four days. What's the extent to which he can go to destroy evidence if there is any against him? Also, can he influence the witnesses in any uh, of the cases that he believes that he could be trapped in with the kind of information that the Lokayakta has already got? Also, in the delay that uh, the, you know that has been made in, in the four days, being the prime accused, you know what is the amount of uh, you know evidence or witness that the uh, you know Lokayakta loses here? The, the police, of course, should be putting all its efforts to identify where he is. Are they really waiting for him to get an anticipatory bail and then uh, probably say, well, he's got his bail, now we can only question mm. him? Why has he not been picked up? These are definitive mm. questions that, uh, you know, the police will have to answer at this point in time. Also, you know, the BJP has remained pretty much mum about, uh, you know, uh, his whereabouts or why the police hasn't really taken action. The Congress in this particular, uh, you know, aspect has hit out saying that they are shielding him and protecting him because, you know, it's their MLA. Okay, uh, we leave it there for the moment, Deepak. Thank you very much. Uh, is the BJP losing the perception battle in Karnataka? We'll just have to wait and watch for the elections. But there are some questions that I want to put to the BJP spokesperson who is joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Dr. Sudha Halkai is joining us on the show. Nagaraju Yadav is spokesperson of the Congress Party. Brijesh Kalappa is leader of the Amadmi Party. Dr. Sudha Halaki, am I to believe and are we to believe and are the people of India and Karnataka to believe That an MLA of the BJP who is accused of corruption, whose son is under arrest, where there's a clear money trail, forget a money trail, there is clear money that we are seeing on our screens. Someone who's accused of that level of corruption, the BJP government is not in a position to ask that MLA to surrender. Are we to believe that he's completely incommunicado and the BJP government and the Karnataka police have no clue where this gentleman is? He's been absconding for four days now to the BJP's perennial embarrassment. Uh, very good evening, Shreya. I do accept it. It's a very shameful act by one of our MLA and it is, it's caused a lot of disrespect to our party as well. But the thing is, as I've told you before mm -hmm. also, and you have also told that our national leader has told na khaunga, na khane dunga. Definitely the second line, what he said is, na khane dunga. Definitely. This is why we have uh, we, we have given a free hand to the Loka Yukta and they're doing job their job very well. And we do have respect and complete mm -hmm. uh, this one on the Loka Yukta people and other agencies who are associated with them that they're going to do the job well. And definitely I can say that justice, neither it will be denied nor it will be uh, delayed. It is at the verge of getting uh, justice. So that is what they're doing. And uh, there is no question. And when the Congress uh, no, what is, is putting an allegation, what is, I told... Yeah, tell me. No, Dr. Sudha, uh, um, let me repeat yeah, my question. The law will take its own course, etc., etc. is all fine. But Dr. Siddha, please answer my question. Are you telling me if Mr. Bumai picks up the phone and tells his MLA to surrender, he will not surrender? And if he's not Shreya, surrendering, you... why has he not been sacked from the party? Shreya, do you think that the MLA has kept his phone on? That our CM will call him and he'll pick up the phone? These are not practical things. This We have to understand uh, certain things. These are not practical. Mm -hmm. When I tell you the murderer of uh, Praveen Netur was arrested, I think, yesterday or day before. It has taken uh, two years uh, for them to arrest it. Almost, uh, sorry, one year for them to arrest it. So though no culprit will be there keeping his mobile on or uh, they'll, be, uh, they'll not be uh, hiding anywhere. So... The investigation agencies are doing their job okay. and we trust them completely. And regarding Congress putting Nagar in Raju Yadav, to, to, uh, to, to, the Just BJP... a minute, Shreya, Shreya. Just a minute. Give me one time. What the Congress putting okay. is putting an allegation okay. regarding the Loka okay. Yukta. I tell the Congress doesn't have any authenticity to put the allegation because they had completely assassinated and uh, they had completely squashed the Loka Yukta. So there is no question that uh, uh, Congress is, has I agree with any you rights there. to ask about... Uh, uh, Loka Yukta, investigations of I, Loka Yukta to I agree the with you there. Uh, I agree with you there that the Congress had tried to strangulate uh, the Loka Yukta and the BJP promised to resurrect it. And then what happens? They come to power for four years and they argue in court that the ACB is enough. So if the Loka Yukta yeah. is back in action, as it were, it's not courtesy the BJP. So I don't think that's the impression you should put out. It's courtesy the Karnataka High Court. Anyhow, Nagaraju Yadav, here is the spokesperson I'll say one of more the thing, BJP. One more thing. No I, I'd point, like to tell you what... no point... Ek minute, ek minute. No, ek minute. Let me go to Nagaraju Yadav. Nagaraju Yadav, okay. here's the spokesperson of the BJP on this show at no point defending the corrupt MLA. They are saying 
the lokayukta has the powers the lokayukta is the one that took uh, you made the raids the lokayukta is the one that has arrested five people and it's the lokayukta that will arrest this corrupt mla as well we are not standing in uh, you know uh, we are not standing here and protecting yeah, the, the mla in any case so why is the congress accusing us of doing so and saying that the bjp very well knows where the mla is it is not congress accusing us such karnataka police has got its own strong history hmm. behind it they have they've dealt the strongest cases of, uh, possible in the state of karnataka and it's not so difficult the home minister the chief minister is indirectly connected to this they don't want an embarrassment of our getting a mla arrested so they want a anticipatory bail to be passed in favor of the virupaksha in the court they want begging time they were delaying the entire process of uh, prosecution they are not giving a free hand to the autonomous body called uh, lokayukta and they are not giving a free hand to the police of karnataka we have a Oh, oh, those days, oh, oh, when we started in ACB, there was some. No, no, there, there was, okay. no, there was the, those days when the ACB, uh, ACB was started, there were some some unwarranted things happened in Lokayukta, which was not acceptable to the people of Karnataka. ACB was formed. No, no, Mr. Nagaraju Yadav, please help me understand this. I'm why are you saying, this, my... why is the Congress party officially saying, one minute, one minute, why is the Congress party saying at this point of time that the BJP is pressurizing the Lokayukta? If the BJP why? government in Karnataka was pressurizing the Lokayukta, the raids would not have happened. No, 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 right, no. Exactly. People should, no, people should understand Lokayukta is an autonomous body today. Lokayukta did his job. That now they are not allowing their local to do its job to the uh, to the end uh, logical end. Today the MLA went to the chief minister's house to resign from the chairmanship. Why the chief minister is not called the called the local the police or the security of the CM should have arrested him and handed over to the local the why he has not done? He has got no moral rights to uh, to continue with the chief minister today. What Narendra Modi said that I will not eat, I will not allow others mm -hmm. to eat. How did they accumulate 8 crore rupees in a single MLA? Where is the industrial minister today? Where is Nirani is not talking about this This, 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 this chairmanship portfolio comes under the Ministry of Industries? Why Mr. Nirani is not speaking about today? That's one point. Why is the chief minister not coming out all clean to say that there are so many Okay, you know, we are having some audio issue with you. We are, we are, we are having some audio issue with you, but let me ask Dr. Siddharth. Supreme Court and High Court, these people are completely corrupt and they know very well that they are completely petty. Uh, Dr. Sudha, Dr. Yeah, Sudha, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Nagaraju, yeah, yeah. there is some, uh, you know, connection problem. Uh, uh, we yeah, just fix that. Like Dr. That. Sudha, before I bring in Vijesh yeah. Kalappa, you know, yeah, one, minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. There is, I want to ask you something very specific. No, I want to ask you something very specific. Mr. Nagaraju yeah, Yadav is saying that this MLA submitted his resignation to the chief minister. Why did the chief minister not call the Loka Yukta or the police? And now my, my, my understanding is that a resignation letter was sent. But indeed, if the allegation that the Congress spokesperson is making is true, then it's a very grave situation for your chief minister. He knows his MLA is corrupt. He knows he's come to give you his resignation letter. And yet the chief minister keeps mum about it. Shreya, this is what they're talking is completely out of the box. I'll tell you, how is it possible for that person to no. go anywhere out of his doors also to go and give a letter? It is not possible. Probably he sent I, it through I, some I don't think... uh, mode or means. One and first, first and foremost thing. Second thing, what they told that uh, the Loka Yukta is an autonomous uh, body and uh, they're showing so much of due respect for Loka Yukta. Please let them answer in 2050. Why did they snatch all the power of the Loka Yukta? Why did they assassinate Loka Yukta and form ACB? And regarding ACB also, in 2016, the High Court has given a very clear verdict stating that the very constitution of the ACB was to you protect know. and shield the corrupt politicians, officials, and to save them from the watchful eyes of the Loka Yukta and to protect them from any prosecution. You tell me, why did they have, why didn't they have the same respect in 2000? 15 when Loka Yukta had filed more than 56 cases no, against you, the Congress. Leader. You don't go back to 2015, ma'am. 
Please don't go back to 2015 okay, because I'm talking about 2023 and I'm talking about the fact that it has been four I'm days. Ek minute, let me get him Rajesh Karappa, that it has been four days. Your MLA continues to be missing. He's absconding. He's on the, the run. All right, you are telling me that you know his phone is switched off and we cannot pressurize him. Ek minute, that we cannot pressurize him. We cannot pressurize him uh, to surrender to the police. If you cannot pressurize him to surrender to the police, you can sack him. Or where are the bulldozers? The, the, the BJP is so fond we, of bulldozer justice. Have, where are the bulldozers? I don't agree we, with we, bulldozer we. justice, but the BJP seems to love it. Brijesh Kalappa, come in here. Come in here, Brijesh Kalappa. Uh, you know, the Aam Aadmi Party is a party that was born out of an anti-corruption movement. However, two of its tallest leaders right now are mired in corruption. Do you see, do you see corruption becoming, uh, you know, the theme song of the upcoming elections? Because that's what we think. You can, you know, the opposition can keep baking the BJP over corruption, but when it when it comes to election time and voting and you know voting voting and counting, corruption is somewhere in the bottom of the list. It hardly is ever a mudda. See, uh, Shreya, as far as corruption is concerned, I may only point out the difference between <coughs> the corruption of Mr. Madal. <clears throat> and the so-called corruption of Mr. Sisodia and of Mr. Jain. Not one rupee has been recovered in both the case of Mr. Sisodia and in the case of Mr. Jain. In the case of Mr. Madal, 8 crore rupees have been seized. And obviously there will be no ET, ID or uh, CBI in this case. But in both the cases of Mr. Sisodia and of Mr. Jain, there will be a CBI, IT and ED. Right Now in the case of Mr. Ishwarappa, who were uh, a person, you know, uh, mentioned him by name and committed suicide, a worker of the VHP. In that case, there was no CBI, ED or IT. In the case of Mr. Limbawali, where a, a contractor committed suicide, no case, no case of CBI, ED or IT. In the case of Janardhan Reddy, where there were, uh, you know, even under the, in the, most of, under the nose of demonetization, he has uh, spent 500 crore for his daughter's wedding. No CBI, no ED, no IT. And, oh, but ED, IT and CBI are only reserved for opposition party you know, people. And only it, uh, these agencies are only meant to take action against people in the opposition. I think I can give you even half a dozen more instances. Now, question is, I heard the BJP spokesperson mm -hmm. speaking. She says that no, no, netters... Killers were recently abducted. So that means that Mr. Madal will not be apprehended for the next one year. See, I'm not saying That's that. That's what I she's saying. The the Did you just no, no, hear her? She said, no, no, we have no control on all we, this. No, no, no. She no, said, she said, that. She no, said no, that. our government who is who is against no, the law, law will take its own course means no, no, no. there is, is there, BJP, there is a central government protecting the him. The there is a state government protecting him. No. See, don't put all these small allegations. Our party is highly recognized and appreciated by all throughout the world, including the World Bank. There is a transparency of transferring 27 lakh crore to the beneficiaries. And take it, there is nothing. There is n number of schemes and everything. So this small thing, you cannot put an allegation and say that the whole BJP is like that or like that. Our whole, I, our, no, I, our party I is let Brijesh Kalappa, Dr. Sudha. Okay, yes, yes. you know, Dr. Sudha, let Brijesh Kalappa finish, but since you said yeah. that world over the BJP is recognized for its transparency, let me tell you what your own High Court, the Karnataka High Court, has said. They have said that to for every file that needs to be passed, money is money is changed, money changes hand. I'm not saying this. This this allegation of corruption is coming from the High Court. Mr. Kalappa, go ahead, complete your point. So I was only saying, Shreya that if there is even a modicum of decency, a modicum of self-respect, I think the first thing that the BJP should do is to ensure that, you know, those people who are on the run, and these are not ordinary criminals, they're not some pickpocket who have stolen 500 rupees from somebody. These are people who have stolen crores and crores. And you must remember that Mr. Madal is only a rural MLA from, you know, Channagiri. He's not even a city MLA. Can you imagine that supposing a city MLA were caught he would have found hundreds of crores in the, uh, you know, in his person. A minister would have found thousands of crores. You, the person I mentioned, Mr. Ishwarappa, he in fact had a two counting machines. 
in his home because it's not possible to you know to to count all the currency which comes into your house so mr ishwarappa had installed a currency machine counting note a machine and that was the modus operandi mm -hmm. under which they could you know carry on their business so this is the kind of scenario in karnataka and ultimately one must realize this trea that it's the 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 situation is nauseating it's nauseating to say the very least and the very fact that an mla and uh, you know a senior uh, person like this is on the run what kind of a signal does it send to people who are watching the state from close quarters what kind of a signal does it send it's truly nauseating dr sudha is the yeah, bjp yeah, losing the perception battle in a very crucial election year no i don't think so i still take it as a positive note that our government was Uh, um, uh, uh, very strong enough to get into this case and allow the uh, 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 law to take its own uh, course of action. And one more thing, whatever Mr. Bridgesh Kalapa has told, no, that the CPI and the IT and all uh, they have arrested the AAP uh, uh, leaders without any uh, getting any cash in hand or something. It is it is on a social media. It is a direct disrespect to the CBI and to the. IT people that without any uh, investigations or without having any proof, they have uh, just like that can they arrest anybody? See, they are very. Uh, they are one of the two of the tallest uh, investigations in our country. Take it CBI or IT rates. We cannot just put an allegation that without anything they have arrested. Doctor them. Sudha, I don't think we. Yeah, Doctor Sudha, even the you know even the CBI and the ED's best friends will not believe that. Given the way that the ED and the CBI and an investigation agencies go only after mm -hmm. the opposition and don't want to touch anyone from from the BJP, so let's not get there. Yeah, and I'm not saying this, yeah. by the way. The data is telling us this. The data is yeah. telling the data is telling us that from 2014, uh, the raids on Netas by ED and CBI has increased fourfold. And of all yeah, these Netas. 95% have been opposition netas 95% now i am not saying don't raid or investigate investigate the corrupt if they are in the opposition raid and investigate them if they are in your own party raid and investigate them but where are you investigating the man in your own party the bjp mla exactly. your exactly. police exactly. it is your state government your chief minister your police and your mla and yet your police and your chief minister and your state have not been able to apprehend this mla who's been absconding now for 96 hours not 24 not 48 not 72 but 96 hours yeah, isn't it embarrassing you told for you as a I'm party told, i'm telling you come here and try even... and try and you know no 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 uh, <clears throat> no stay i like give me time some time i told you at the first moment only that it is a very shameful act for us and it is the most disrespectful to all the party leaders who are working day and night to get uh, the country free of corruption or poverty and uh, so many n number of things like that the thing is what you are saying is to the, of the data of 2014 yes you are right that because 70 years of our uh, after independence the our country has been ruled most of the time by the uh, opposition mm. people and uh, take it uh, scams like uh, 560 yeah. crores scam is regarding indira canteen uh, then 180 scam is regarding uh, uh, krishi bhagya yojana and uh, 9600 uh, the crore scam mm. is against robert wadra regarding 1100 uh, Uh, land uh, acres of land in uh, Karnataka okay. and uh, uh, Sonia ji, uh, Rob, uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi ji, they are all on bail. So when so much of scams have taken place, there is Bofor yeah. scam is there, Tuji scam is there, uh, World Health uh, 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 Games okay. scam is there. So so many scams are there. So definitely, uh, it is they are taking their own time. You know, whatever seventy years, you know, they are doing their uh, part of job. Mr. Nagaraj ji, yeah, given a free hand. as we are all aware right, they, they should, should be given a free hand but a free today, hand doesn't mean a well free hand only against the opposition a free hand means a free hand against the ruling dispensation as well nagaraju yadav anyhow the allegation is yeah. straight See, against the congress party you want to respond and i'll wrap the chat with that every every rural mla is having 8 crore rupees in his house imagine what the industrial minister of karnataka state must be having today we are telling that whether whatever case whether it is against uh, sidramaiya or against dk shukumar or uh, indra canteen you are in the park today why don't you investigate if we are done wrong please hang us in public 
Why are you not taking the moral ground to say that you are a party with difference? Is this a way you are administrating today? Your MLA and MLA son are looting the Karnataka state. What is the standards of Edura Pai and Edura Pai son today? As Mr. Brijesh Kalapa said that every MLA, every minister is every day making money today. The High Court of Karnataka also has pointed out this one. Your contractor association is complaining about it. Schools association is registered associations are complaining about it. At Corona, there is a big scam. Even buying mask and gloves, there is a scam. Are we not ashamed? Being a Canadian today, the country is looking at Karnataka in this fashion. Do you agree with this, Madam Sudha? This is not acceptable. No, sir. We are telling no, very no, clearly, sir. No, sir. if anybody in uh, opposition uh, uh, or in the ruling is there involved with corruption, please take a stunning action. Why are you only coming and talking on TV we channels are today? We are Hours taking. are with you. We you are, are not hiding ourselves. We are sarkar, not closing sarkar, the cases unlike you people. You are, you are not closing the, the cases unlike you people. Like, you know, whatever cases it they is find against you. You are by the local authority. Why did you close? Why did you close? You have no moral rights. When you came to power, you said that. When you said that you can go to Faraz, I'll be coming to the ACB. ACB. Did you, did you people do that? Cases? You people have Why never kept the cases. Why did you transfer the cases to ACB? Okay. Why did you leave it there? Hiding? We come up openly. We, we leave have it there. To come up in the open and come and We leave, leave it there. I hope these conversations around corruption continue and go, don't get sidetracked in the run-up to the election with the communal debates that usually tend to sprout up only when elections are around the corners. That essentially ends up as they say, bhatkawing the main muddha of the election. We'll leave it there for the moment. Uh, Dr. Sudha, thank you very much. You had a tough job today. You did it well. Thank you very much for coming. Nagaraju Yadav, spokesperson of the Congress, and Brijesh Kalapa, spokesperson of the BJP, thank you very much for joining us. I'm slipping into a quick break on the show. There's more news coming up on the other side. Do stay with us.